We are here in Louisville, Kentucky at Rusty Wessel's Aquatic Playground. We're gonna talk a little bit about the uh, fish room in a minute, but right now, we got a great pond behind us. Rusty, thanks for having us, man. Correct. Appreciate it. It's great to be here. Before I jump in, give us an idea of this pond, the size, how many gallons. It's unbelievable. This pond's about 35,000 gallons. There's, uh, it inhabits koi, and uh, there's actually four paddlefish. Explain paddlefish. Paddlefish is a native fish to Kentucky. It's a filter feeder, and uh, they don't eat fish. They get uh, 200 pounds and six foot long. 200 pounds, six foot long. You got four of them. I have four. But your pond goes from how many feet to how many feet? It's about 70 foot across and 10 foot wide. It starts, it's five and a half foot deep here, and it's eight foot deep in the deep end. And you're not going to let me go swimming, are you? Yep, you're welcome to. Let's jump in, Frank. Let's take a better look at it. Okay. Rusty, I would say this is a better look as we just talked about. All these koi coming up to the surface, what kind of size range do you have here? There's koi that are probably 26 inches down to just a few inches. Some were born in the pond and uh, some are very friendly, some, some are not, but they're all, what they're up doing now, they, they think it's about time to eat, so. So they'll, they'll just about, even if you put your finger in there, they'll probably come to it, won't they? Yeah, let's see if we can get this big girl to come up. There we go. Yeah, she's, uh, she's looking for food. You've got a waterfall coming into the pond. Uh, done on purpose? Is it for aeration or just aesthetics? It's for it's aesthetics and it's also a filtration. It, it comes from the filter house, which is under the deck over to the side. The strings are uh, one of my ways to keep uh, predators out. The, we have problems with owls and, and herring. And wherever there's an X, supposedly the, the heron will not come within 10 foot of it. it. It actually does something to their eyes. They get scared of that area. How long did this project of this pond in general take? This to pond took about a year to build. I built most of it myself. It's a, it's a liner pond. It's actually concrete underneath, but it actually has a liner in it. Now you have a unique way of heating the water here. Explain that a little bit. Because I have uh, six acres here and I have a lot of trees fall, I have a lot of free wood. So with the way the water is heated, and I heat this by design through the winter, is the water gets transferred from the filter box by a, a two inch pipe and it runs into the fireplace grate. And it's actually the grate for the fireplace. So when the fire is running, it, uh, it heats the water and then it returns to, to the filter and then it gets dispersed into the pond. Which works out perfectly in the winter because you're probably going to have fires anyway even if you're sitting around and the water goes underneath right back in. Are you able that way though to keep the temperature a certain parameter? Yep, you can. It, it tempers it, it keeps it, it warm. It keeps it warm enough that I can feed the koi year round. So this, this water, this pond never freezes? Never freezes, that's correct. How often, or at all, do you have to maintain the pond? Because we hear people say they have a pond, they have algae problems, they have you know, dirt, they have falling debris. What do you have to do to maintain it? To, to maintain the pond, probably once a day, there's some filter pads that I will clean. And then about once a week, I'll backwash the filter system. Rusty, in your aquatic playground, this is one of five ponds on your property, right? That's correct. How about we go check them out? Let's go. Frustrated with your cloudy aquarium? Want a simple, easy to use solution for clear, clean, healthy, odor-free water? You need EcoBioBlock. EcoBioBlock's unique beneficial bacteria live and multiply in volcanic rock for up to two years, reducing the need for maintenance and water changes. EcoBioBlock in every aquarium for clear water, healthy fish. Give us a call or go online to ecobioblock.com. Rusty, probably the littlest pond that you have, which is some, for some people is probably the biggest pond they'll ever have. What do you do with this one specifically? This one specifically is used for uh, live bears. I have, uh, there's three or four types of live bears from Central America that I throw out in this pond and uh, to get good numbers on so I can distribute them to hobbyists. And you make up for whatever plants you can't keep in your fish room because of the cichlids eating them, you make up for it by having some great plants in some of your ponds. Yep, yep, and that's just water heist and I think parrot feather is the other. And this, uh, I think this is 500 gallons right here. Rusty, this pond has great plants, big plants, almost bigger than the pond itself. Explain a little bit about this one. 
Yeah, this is just another pond. This is about a thousand gallons and there's uh, baby koi, primarily baby koi in this pond. I just use it as a grow out for the adults. I collect the eggs in the spring, pop them into this tank, and then uh, eventually we get, uh, get some young fish. So this, you most can use this, for lack of a better term, as an incubator for the big one. Right. Cordon's Amquil Plus detoxifies your aquarium of fish killers like ammonia and nitrates. Amquil Plus detoxifies harmful chloramines, toxic pheromones, and chlorine, and has been a trusted solution for aquarists for more than 30 years. Cordon's superior water conditioning products help make fish keeping easy. Visit Cordon.com and check out the entire line of products and ask for Cordon products at your favorite store. Cordon, trusted solution since 1961. Rusty, we looked at a couple ponds on the aquatic playground. This one's a little bit buried a little bit. Explain it, because it looks like it's almost been here for a while. Yep. This, this is a natural pond. It's about 100,000 gallons. And it is, uh, you know, it's got a dirt bottom. And we put, put a dam in and just dammed up the area. And it has koi and a few catfish. Actually has big albino channel cats in here, which actually help keep the koi population under control. Have I put them in by design. There's also a few, you can see uh, a few turtles, a few, they're red ear sliders that, that came here naturally and, and they've been here ever since. This pond's about 12, 14 years old. Because it's more of a natural, it looks like it's been here for a while, are they self-sustained or do you still have to feed everybody? I do feed them. Uh, you don't really wouldn't have to, and, uh, but I do feed them just to, to keep them a little bit happier. Are you able at all, Rusty, to keep a, a tabs on not necessarily how many fish are in here, but maybe how many alb albino cats and things like that? I do know how, there are three albino cats, and because uh, I, I put, I actually introduced them into the pond. The koi numbers, I really don't know. They're probably 40 or 50 in this pond, and it stays pretty much at that level because the catfish, I think, think eat, the, eat the young. So this basically, after you put in the catfish, is a sustainable pond almost by itself. Yes, that's correct. Now this pond you're not worried about the owls and all and the herrings and all that are you? right it's a natural setting and and it's deep enough that it's seven foot out in the middle that, that they can they can be deep and not worry about the the owls predating on them or the herons and it does freeze over solid during the winter months except where I have air running in there'll be one little opening so Rusty we've seen four out of four now we're going for five out of five we got one more pond to check out let's go Rusty, this is pond five of five. Explain a little bit about it. Yep, this is a 10,000 gallon concrete pond. Basically, it's just like a swimming pool, Frank. And, uh, but what's unique about this pond is not only do I have the koi, but I use it for tropical fish through the summer. I put many of my live bears and a few of the tetras out into this pond, and they reproduce in big numbers through, through the summer months. Rusty, we've seen the aquatic playland out here. Five ponds, unbelievable. How about next time we go check out the fish room? Sounds great. That is Blue Zoo TV presented by Hikari. If you need aquatic products, check out these Blue Zoo TV sponsors. And don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at Blue Zoo Radio.